Good morning, Fulton, Missouri. This is your Mayor Lau Cannell here with another episode of Mornings with the Mayor. Uh, the date today is Tuesday, November 30th. We're here uh, changing things up a little bit with the podcast this morning. Um, up until now, we've done our broadcast from Legends Recplex, and that was a great way to kick things off there and bring some exposure to the new recreation center. <clears throat> but uh, that said, it really wasn't ideal for recording, so we're moving our location. We've now decided to relocate the podcast part of this to uh, Fulton City Hall, and we're happy to be here. Uh, but I certainly do want to thank Luke and his staff uh, over at Legends Recplex for their hospitality and uh, also Clay for sort of being the instigator for this whole pro uh, project. So so thank you guys. Um, but yeah, this morning we're, we're here. Our producer, Darren Wernick, has got us all set up and ready to go. Thank you, Darren. I have to say that uh, staff here at City Hall is very busy and on point this morning. Um, I think someday soon we may have to invite a couple of folks from here at City Hall to sit and talk with us. Um, today, though, our spotlight guest is from our very own Fulton Police Department. Before I introduce uh, our main attraction today, I'd like to bring in a couple of other folks here to chat with us this morning. First off, I want to welcome one of our Ward 2 council persons, Mrs. Mary Reclue. Uh, thank you, Mary, for being here this morning. Now, there's a reason I kind of asked you to be here. I've been doing this podcast now for a couple of months, and it's been a mildly successful um, I'm excited about some of the topics that we've uh, covered and, and definitely a lot more that, that we will cover. Um, I think, you know, the sky's the limit here as far as, you know, topics and content. So, so I'm excited about that. But to sort of take this to the next level, I think we need some help here. The mayor needs a little assistance. Uh, so thank you, Mary, for, for being here to try to help me. Um, I clearly need it. We're we're doing our best, but uh, so to start off with, I know Mary, you've served on the council for about probably as long as I have, maybe a little bit longer. And I, I'd like you to tell us just a little bit about yourself and what made you get interested in city government. First of all, good morning, everyone. Um, um, I'm uh, thank you for inviting me today. I appreciate that. Um, well, it's kind of a long story, and uh, I had retired and um, had, had, moved, uh, had retired and moved to this lovely little town. I love Fulton. Uh, I'm not a local. I am from Iowa, but um, a neighbor of mine, after I moved here and was settling, uh, happened to be on the city council, and I was following uh, the city information. She approached me one day, and uh, her and her husband were moving from, uh, from uh, Fulton, and she had her spot would be open on the council. She asked if I'd be interested. Uh, I had been attending uh, council meetings. So um, um, I kind of looked at it a little bit, a little couple of few weeks, and I said, I'm going to see if I can get, get into this. I like this. So to make a long story short, that's when I took over, and I've been here 10 years, and I appreciate, appreciate the uh, uh, opportunity. That's a wonderful insight. We, we appreciate all of our citizens, but to step out of your comfort zone and to actually run for office, go out there and knock on doors and and take a, a bit of your time to serve the citizens of Fulton. I take my hat off to you and I appreciate that very much. So thank you, thank you for being here. All right. <clears throat> so again, thank you, Mary. Thanks all of our public servants, um, both in the city and the county the, these aren't easy jobs um, speaking of not easy jobs my next guest uh, is sort of my right hand person here and someone that is an integral part of the city of Fulton and the work that we do and uh, that person is our city administrator Bill Johnson uh, thank you Bill for being here this morning I'm going to be a little more brief with your intro today because uh, we're going to be talking to you a little bit more in depth very soon. <laughs> so, um, but uh, Mr. Johnson's been our administrator here for an amazing 25 years. I was corrected this morning. It was, I think I thought it was 26, but it's 25. It just so. seems longer. It seems longer probably, yeah. <laughs> so, 
Um, but we've had him here for 25 years, and of course we thank him for that service. Thank you, Bill. Um, but at this time, uh, if you would um, introduce our guest of honor and explain uh, why we've got him here on the hot seat today. <coughs> well, we've invited Chief Myers today, uh, Steve Myers. He's been the Fulton Police Chief for the past 20 years. And I just got to say that he, he, I think he's done a really, really great job. If he wouldn't have done a, a, a great job, we would have not had him this long. We would have um, found a way to rotate someone in that position. But I, I never had any questions about Steve's integrity or his loyalty or his commitment to the town. You know, Steve's got a tough job, uh, keeping the community as safe as possible, working with the staff and the budget that he has. Um, and I've, I've, you know, we've had some issues in town over the years, but you compare Fulton's safety record to the, the safety record of other communities, and I think Steve and his crew have done an amazing job. And I've been very plow proud to work with them, and it's been my honor and pleasure to have you serve as police chief. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. So welcome this morning, Steve. Thank you. you you've had a busy week so far, I'm guessing, right? Oh yes, it's been a whirlwind week. Um, I have a lot to do, and uh, I'll be probably working right up till five o'clock uh, Friday evening. So hey, poor guy, yeah, poor been, guy. It's been a busy week <laughs> so far, and it's only uh, just begun. Well, we'll hang in there. You'll 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 survive. But like like Bill said, I, I've said it many times that you probably have one of the toughest jobs in Fulton. Um, you're your primary goal is obviously public safety and just the scope of that in itself for a town of our size is a you know a daunting task but you've done that in such a way to to you know not only keep the citizens happy uh, but you've also had to try to keep bill happy you have to keep your mayors and your city council happy um, and then after all that you have to try to keep all of your staff happy and not just sometimes but all the time um, so that's that's a tough job. You you say you want to be a police chief, huh? Well, that's it, 24/7, guys. Um, but <clears throat> you've you've somehow managed to do that for all these years, and and you go home at the end of the day to your family, and that's what it's all about for you, you men and women in blue. So I thank you for your service and congratulate you on a on a wonderful career. So so obviously these last few years have been tough uh, that's kind of the go-to question for for folks in our positions but I, I'd sort of like to either ask you chief or or Bill is there a story from maybe way back in the day or something that you've worked on together that you guys could look back and say man what what were we thinking or or maybe just some old story that comes to mind that you'd like to talk about oh I I, <laughs> I can't think of anything like that but I I think uh, one of the one of the proudest things that Bill and I probably done, in my opinion, um, when I first started, uh, I saw my guys were busy, covered up, and we had cases coming in, and we weren't able, the road guys just weren't able to work those cases uh, to the best of what I thought they should be worked. And so Bill and I got together early and we started the detective bureau back in I think uh, probably '03, maybe. And um, so I, I convinced them that we needed needed to do that, even right. though it took some guys off the road, and uh, we didn't get extra people for that. But we reassigned, and uh, in doing that, then we freed the road guys up a little more so they could do uh, what they needed to do, answering calls and working some of the smaller cases. But um, we turned the bigger cases over to the detective bureau then at that time, and um, I was, I'm, I'm very proud of what uh, Bill and I have been able to do. Uh, Bill's been awesome through the years. Uh, he listens. Uh, we don't always agree on everything, but um, I think when, uh, especially in the last 10, 15 t uh, years or so, um, when when we have an issue, we, we work it out, and. I think we're, uh, we re remained friends through the years as well as uh, he's my boss. But, um, and I think that's been 
one of the reasons I've been here this long is because I do have the support of um, administration and and through the years council as well uh, has been very uh, supportive of me and I think I've worked with uh, four different mayors and that's that's been pretty awesome and those relationships are so important you know the the politics that, that gets involved in the job that you do um, can be very um, tough to deal with sometimes and you have to have people around you that you trust and um, most I, certainly yeah you know I my guys um, I tell them you do your job and I'll take care of the politics and right. I've been doing that for 20 years and um, I think um, that's the only way it could work because uh, we don't make everybody happy and some people are very unhappy when and sometimes half the people are unhappy when they <laughs> le we leave a call so yeah. um, there is a lot of politics involved and um, they do their job and and my job is to protect them and and uh, I try to do that you've done an amazing job um, so uh, Mary, would you like to ask Steve a question now? You've got him on the hot seat. Yeah, there we go. Steve, I have a question. What made you decide to be to become a police officer? Uh, back in 82, I uh, looked at uh, several different options, and I wanted to help people. And um, I've been able to, I think, do that over the years. And when Mayor and I spoke, spoke yesterday afternoon, uh, I've had uh, a lot of people that I've actually put in jail and prison that have gotten out of prison and come and thank me because it turned their whole life around. And so uh, I, I'm pretty proud of helping people. And um, so that's, that's why I wanted to get into it in the first place. And I, and I think I've accomplished that pretty well. And I think that leads to my question that I had. Um, how has law enforcement, in your opinion, sort of evolved or changed from when you started to, to now? Oh my gosh, uh, in, in 40 years, law enforcement has uh, almost did a complete turnaround. Um, when I started, of course, computers weren't uh, uh, available at that time. And gosh, yeah. so we, typed our reports on old manual typewriters and the keys stuck and you have to flip them back down and yeah. uh, that's been that's been a huge huge uh, change in law enforcement I think um, and one of the things I'm also proud of is uh, body cameras we had body cameras far before um, the Ferguson incident right and I think they've changed law enforcement tremendously for the better um, I, I and you I guys, I will say right out the gate, you guys were not resistant to that at all. You welcomed it. You asked for it. Yes, yes, we did. I I saw that uh, I saw that was going to be a huge uh, improvement to law enforcement, and I think it has been. There's still some departments that are opposed to it, but I think eventually they're going to see that it, it has helped. I I can't tell you how many times I get people call me and they tell me, "Well, this happened or that happened or." your guy did this or that or whatever and I invite him to come on in and look at the video and we'll we'll see what happened mm -hmm. and usually they never come <laughs> right so that's been a that's been a big change lots of lots of things that you guys have seen I thought it was interesting to you know some of the technology when it doesn't work now we have to go back to the old ways and and you probably are one of the like me, the older folks that know how to do things on paper, writing stuff down, and, and those are things that, you know, could come back. Oh, yes, at, most at definitely. So, yeah, um, the technology has just been tremendous throughout the years. Uh, I saw DNA come in. Uh, that, was a, that was a big thing, you know, back in uh, the 80s, mm -hmm. mid-80s. We started seeing DNA, yeah. and that's really helped yeah. law enforcement tremendously. Fingerprints is not so much a big deal anymore right right yeah it's i always <clears throat> catch myself watching those old uh, crime shows and the <laughs> dna catches them every time <laughs> so um i'd like to give uh our director bill a chance to you know ask a question or two or give some parting thoughts steve like i said it's been an honor and a pleasure <laughs> working for you 
over the past 40 year career, every morning when you've woke up, you've had a badge. Come Saturday morning, when you wake up, there's not, you're not going to have a badge or, or the authority that goes with the badge after that. How, have you thought of how that's going to change you as a person? Well, Bill, I've thought about that a lot, and uh, I, I think it'll probably take a few weeks for to actually uh, hit me in that respect. Um, but um, it's going to be a totally different different life. Um, now at 3 o'clock in the morning, I get calls quite frequently from my guys, something going on. and So um, I'm not going to get those. I'm, I'm still thinking I'm still going to wake up and wonder what's going on and and uh, what's going on with the department and uh, but it's going to be quite a change and, and I know and uh, so uh, probably I'm not looking forward to that as much <laughs> as as uh, you might think but uh, because I've it's been my life for 40 years and it's hard to change well, you and I both made public service our careers, and it's, I found it very rewarding and very fulfilling. Um, I, just, I just know that we are never going to find someone to replace you. We will find someone to be the new police chief for this wonderful community of Fulton, but we will not even attempt to find someone that's going to fill your shoes. You've, you've just done a great job with, with such a great job with the community and the citizens. Um, I think you have the respect of the community. Um, you have the adoration of, of many people in town. It's, it's a tough job just having all that responsibility. And I, I can see it going to be a, a little bit of a stress relief when, when, you, when you do wake up at 3 o'clock and it's like, oh, oh, the phone's not going to ring. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for the community and all the help you've given me in the, in the elected officials um so i couldn't have said that better that, just a wonderful wonderful career and relationship between you two gentlemen um that's that's worked well together and and the fact that you've both been here for 25 plus years uh says says it all right there guys so. well i think we did uh develop a, a relationship and uh mm -hmm. i i know bill didn't always give me what i wanted Mm -hmm. But he always gave me what I needed. He's good at saying no, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, you know, I always got what I needed to uh, keep my department moving forward. And uh, and the guys want to see that, too. They want to see their department that's that's moving forward and not, uh, not stagnant. And so we've got equipment through the years. We've got computers, in-car computers now. and He's and treated you fairly with that type oh, of very, stuff. Yeah. Very, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to miss uh, seeing him every day, too. So yeah. uh, that's going to be part of it as well. You guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, it's getting weird here. <laughs> well, as the week unfolds here, Steve, you, you're going to be a busy guy, though, and folks from all around want to stop by and see you. Um, but now that I've been hearing a little buzz lately about what you may be up to in the future, and I don't know if you can talk about it or want to talk about it, what, what are you going to be up to? Well, I'm uh, considering running for state representative, and um, I'll probably make, uh, make that decision uh, next week or two. And... Uh, then we'll move on from there, and uh, that'll keep me busy if I do that uh, campaigning throughout the summer. So uh, I'm looking looking forward to uh, making that decision and uh, to seeing where we're going to be going from here. Right on. That's exciting. That'll be uh, an adventure for you, the next adventure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we certainly wish you well on that, and uh, we hope certainly that you'll drop back by and see us sometime chief and um, thank you bill for joining us this morning uh, mary i want to really thank you for being here it was great to hear from our second ward uh, keep holding it down for us out there in the southeast before i go i will point out uh, our festival of lights will be starting wednesday december 1st and it'll be the day things will get lit up down there at veterans park so 
I encourage everyone to check that out. It's just getting bigger and better every year. So um, other than that, thanks, guys, for being here. And thank you to the citizens of Fulton for tuning in. And I hope you'll join me next time for Mornings with the Mayor.